So, quick few things about this apartment before I get into the apartment tour. Um, and there's a little girl playing ball right there. Um, first of all, we are in a very small little like community. Um, so there's places literally right there, right there on either side of us. Um, and there's like a lot of them. I, it's a super cute community feel, really adorable. Um, they're like townhomes. Um, so these are all three stories, um, and yeah, so we actually stayed in one of these when we first moved here back in 2016, and we stayed in one of these for two or three months, I think, before we could move into our first house, and we loved it. It was super convenient, um, close to pretty much everything, which we didn't realize at the time, but since living here, we realized it's actually pretty central to everything we need. Sorry, I'm sweating. I literally just hauled all of my clothes up three stairs of flights. Three stairs of flights, three flights of stairs. And so now I'm like, and it's hot in here. Um, but yeah, so we thought, well, we had to be out of our current house before like leaving Australia. So we had to be out of it. We were supposed to be out of it in January, but he let us stay till end of April which was very nice of him. But so we had to get out end of April. So we've um, rented one of these again for the last two and a half months of our time in America, which is just like crazy to say. Um, and so again, like now coming here and like being in this place again is feeling extremely, it's feeling extremely real now. Um, but we aren't fully moving into this um, properly for like another week, two weeks. And we're going to slowly just start moving things in over the next week or so. And then we'll officially be in by the 29th of April. Um, so yeah, so I just brought a bunch of clothes over that I know I'm going to want to keep with me for the next few months. But I don't necessarily need in the next week or so. Um, so I've just brought like four bags of clothes over. Um, which felt like a lot. But then when you put it in the closet, it looks like absolutely nothing. Um... But yeah, so we're in here. We got it fully furnished because obviously all of our furniture is being packed up and heading to Australia as soon as it's packed up on the 29th, 27th, that whole week. Um, as soon as they're packing it up, they're packing it into a huge shipping container, sticking it on a boat and shipping it off to Australia, which will take three to four, possibly more um, months. So we have no furniture with us. So we had to get it serviced so it's a fully furnished well it's a furnished pretty basically furnished apartment um so which is just nice we don't have to worry about that and then we'll have things like plates um cutlery pots and pans um linens towels stuff like that and then just the clothes and then that's all we have and then pretty much everything that we can't fit into our suitcases um will go into air freight um, which you don't get much of, um, but it's just nice to have that little bit of extra wiggle room if you can't fit things in your suitcase. Um, but yeah, so let's go on to the empty temporary apartment tour. I think that's what I'm going to call this video. Um, so yeah, so you walk in from the garage, which is here. Garage, it's pretty big, goes around there too. And then we come into the door. This is technically the back side. Walk into this like little foyer area situation that's technically the front door then this is the office on the right which is cute like little double door situation and so then they've provided the desk the chair and the lamp um, which is pretty much all we need anyway um, but it's a nice decent sized room look out at windows which is which is nice a lot of natural light which is always a positive um, so yeah so that's the office and then you come up these stairs up to the main floor so you walk up to this so this is like a little living room so they've obviously provided the two sofas coffee table console table and tv lamp and the little coffee side table there um, again very basic but it's all we really need for a few months and it's cute so that's the setup don't mind the bags that i brought all my clothes over in Got a little extra empty space there. This is a balcony, which is actually quite nice for that we get one. Um, and we're on, oh, it was unlocked, that's good. See, it's just like a nice little space. That'll be nice. And we're gonna come back inside. Okay. Then we have this whole kitchen area. Let me see if I can turn some lights on. 
it is becoming the end of the day, so um, it's probably getting a bit dark. So this is like the kitchen setup. They've provided bar stools, three bar stools, which are really nice. Um, they've provided a coffee machine, which is really good because then I can give my coffee machine to my brother because um, that's obviously not going to work in Australia. Um, they provided some pots and pans, which is good. And then we'll just have like plates and um, cutlery and basic stuff like that. Nice big island. And then this is like the little dining area. They provided the chairs and table, just like your basic like pantry situation. Oh, necessities, of course. I've already got my collagen in there. Little cure egg, pots and pans, just like microwave, obviously. The usual. Um, and then yeah, just a nice basic fridge. And then yeah, so that's the little dining area. And then you come over here and there's a little powder bathroom, which is just nice and basic, but perfect. And then you turn around and there's more stairs. And then you come into what is gonna be my room. And literally the furniture was delivered two days ago and obviously we haven't moved in yet. So bed's not made and they actually forgot to bring the box spring. So that's actually just the mattress sitting on the frame, which is obviously not what it's supposed to be. So hopefully they're bringing the box spring on Monday. So that will be set up properly. And then they also didn't set up this properly. This is supposed to be attached on the back of this. Um, so they didn't do that, which is annoying. So hopefully they can come back and fix that as well, because that would be nice. Um, but yeah, so we, they've provided this huge um, dresser, which is nice. The bed, mattress, bed frame, and hopefully box spring. Bedside table, lamp, which is obviously, if I can find the thing, obviously, you know, it provides some nice light. Again, just like super basic. Um, furnishing but it's good for just what we need and then you come to here and it's my closet which uh, you have no idea how much I wish I could fill um but these are the clothes I've just brought over so far um yeah it's really hard to pack for two months here which are going to be summer and then we don't technically know how many months when we get to Australia which is going to be winter Granted, winter is obviously not the same as it is here, but it's still gonna be cool. So it's just hard to like pack and have enough of what you need and everything. And then like shoe, shoes will go here. And then you come over here and first of all, you can see I get a view hopefully of a good sunset out there. So I'm excited for that. Then you got my little bathroom, toilet, shower, mirror, vanity, Another big mirror, which is nice. Storage. And yeah, that's my room. And then we're gonna come out into the hallway here. And in here is just the laundry. And you get a washer and a dryer provided, which is very helpful. Um, and then you walk in here to which is what's gonna be my parents' bedroom. My mom's super organized and already has the sheets on the bed, but see, They've got a box spring, which they did not provide for me yet, so hopefully I get mine soon. But they've also just got a bed, bedside table, lamp, dresser, mirror. See, that's how mine's supposed to be. It's attached from the back. Um, and then you turn around here, and they've got a nice big closet as well, which is nice. And then they've also got a bathroom. Double vanity, toilet, shower situation. So yeah, that is actually pretty much it, guys. I That is literally the empty, temporary apartment tour, I guess is what we're calling it. Um, so yeah, I'm in this for two in a bit months i think yeah that is it it's pretty nice it's all nice and white which we love after having a non-white and neutral house um 
hopefully I can get some good content for like reels and Instagram and stuff in here because it's all white uh, and bright. I, it's like, I don't even know what time it is, like 5.30 I think and it's overcast and it is so bright in here. It's crazy and I'm sitting you in front of the window but it's like bright. No idea when this is going up so whatever day it is, it's probably May. So happy May. It is my birthday month which is super exciting except for the fact that I'm getting older. I hate, you guys have no idea. I love my birthday more than anything, but I hate aging. Like, I love my birthday, but I also dread it. I'm 24 this year, which to me is horrifying. And I don't want to be 24 because I don't feel 24. Um, it just means I'm getting older and I'm closer to 30 and it just like overwhelms me and gives me anxiety. Um, but yeah. That is my birthday month, so happy May. I have no idea when this is going up, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this little update in the whole moving process, the whole double moving, because we are essentially moving twice. We're obviously moving into this place, and in a few months we will be officially properly moving countries, which is insane. You would think I'd be like, okay, going back to Australia because it's like a country I've already been but I don't know why I feel more nervous to move back to Australia than I was to move to a brand new country when we moved here crazy um I think it's because I feel like I'm losing more here than when I came over if that makes any sense but yes um I hope you guys continue to stick around for the journey it's very exciting it's very stressful it's very overwhelming um but I hope that you enjoy the parts that I am sharing with you guys and I will see you in the next video. I don't know what it is, but I will see you then. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.